So this is my truth of what happened, my opinion, the way I saw it. This is my perspective. And I want to make that clear. This story is my perspective in the way I saw things, the way I heard things. This is solely my opinion. If you relate to my video and you went through the same thing, great. If you didn't, well, great for you too, okay? You, everyone had a different experience. Everyone has a different experience in general because every person is different. But this is how I experience things and this is how I saw things go down. So if you want to keep hearing my story, go ahead. But that's all I want to say. And this background story probably is kind of irrelevant, but I just want to show you kind of the deal of how much I drove and how much I went out of my way to go to this convention. Some people probably went even more out of the way. I know people that went from Florida, that came from Arkansas, that came from all around. But to me, this was far and I drove six hours. Some people drove an hour or some people drove less. Some people even went further. But I drove six hours to be at that convention. I parked my car somewhere else because my dad actually went with me and he went to his convention and parking was free for his convention so we just kept my car there and I took an uber which by the way I really want my uber money back because I wasted money to go there I wasted so much money to go there and it's just not fair but I'm getting ahead of myself. So my I dropped we dropped off my dad. My dad went to his investors convention, something like completely different. Left the car there. I took an Uber. The Uber took me to the convention. And I got there, I wanna say like seven something. It was close to eight. So I'm just gonna round it out to eight. It was like probably like seven forty five. But I took an Uber, got there at eight, and I made a line. The line was already so, so long. It was ridiculously long. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'm used to it because I've gone to like really big concerts where you are there for hours and hours waiting to get into the venue. I got there at eight. Just, just saying that. I got there at eight and I didn't enter or I didn't get inside the venue until like 12 o'clock, almost hitting one. And it was ridiculous. They were just so slow i do at first i didn't understand why they weren't going faster i'm like how hard is it to like check people in okay you go in check people in you go in but then i slowly started realizing oh my god like there's so many people here are they over capacity and i want to say that i met some wonderful girls there i met three girls i'm not going to involve them in this so i'm not going to say their names and i'm going to insert a picture but it's going to be a picture with their faces covered but i met the sweetest three girls there um i was there alone yes i went alone i do not mind going to events like this alone i went alone i don't mind going alone to these events i love making new friends and that's exactly what happened there was these three girls, they were in front of me, and I just started talking to them, and they turned out to be really cool, and they kind of accepted, uh, <laughs> they kind of accepted me into their group, and I just thank them for accepting me into their group and just adding me on, because they didn't know me, they had just met me literally in line. Okay, a relevant side story. But me and these three girls, we were just kind of talking, and we're like, okay, what's going on? Why is it taking so long? Like, we got there at 8 a.m., and it was just... The lines were ridiculous. They were like wrapping around the whole parking lot. Like, this is the meet and greet check in line. This is crazy. We were there too. What? So you end around up you end up side. right here, but you start way back here. I am lost for words. Ten o'clock just went crazy. You start like even farther down there. I didn't even see that. You start. <laughs> <laughs> it was just. I don't, I don't understand. And then finally when we got close to the checkout line, by the way, I just want to say that it was scorching hot. The sun was beaming and people were all outside. And they did say no liquids. So I did not bring any water because they were very, very clear that security was going to be very high. They were going to be checking bags, no liquids, no nothing. So they also said there was going to be a lot of security, that security was going to be checking our bags, checking everything in, checking like 
that no weapons are let in and that it was just the registration they said was going to be very strict because obviously they want for us to be safe but it wasn't like that they didn't check our ids they also security did not check our bags anyone could have snuck in a weapon to be honest because they didn't check us at all and it was just ridiculous how the process to get it was even made like i it was just ridiculous how the process was in general so while I was there, it was just scorching hot. And I'm like, oh my goodness, like I'm dying. Like it's so hot. And we were standing there for hours. Some of us would sit on the floor. Then we would get back up. And the line was just moving so slow. But moving on from the line, finally when we got to like the checkout place, I want to show you guys the badge. So this is the badge that we got. This is the badge. So this is the featured effing creator. This is the one that you pay for. This is the VIP, supposedly. The orange ones are the featured effing creators. That's the one you paid for. And the girl is just handing them out and handing them out. And we're just like, okay, that's weird. Like, she's not checking if our ticket is the one you paid for or the free one. She's just simply handing them all out without even checking at all. So me and my new friend, we go there and we ask her to like, oh, like, are you just... Is everyone just getting like the feature F and creator? Are you guys like what makes ours VIP and what makes the other ones not VIP? Like you're not checking. She was very, very clear that she said there was only out of the 30,000 they were expecting. 30,000. I just want to say that. She said 20. She was like around 15 to 30,000. She's like, we are expecting only 300. 300. I just want to say that. 300 300 were free 300 only tickets free out of whatever amount they were expecting some people were telling me 15,000 so now people are throwing the number 15,000 out of that 15,000 came and disrupted everything and then people were telling me that 20,000 were actually at the event 30,000 this lady was very clear and she said that they were expecting 30,000 people 30,000 but they but they had sold 20,000 tickets she told me herself the lady I was working there said out of 20,000 only 300 were free and we looked around and everyone had the featured effing creator everyone had this one like and you could really count in your hands you could count how many people had this yellow badge the one that was free so I'm in the editing process and I just want to say that 300 tickets were free but Tana and a lot of people are emphasizing that this meet and greet or TanaCon was free honey it was only free for 300 people it was not free for everybody else i paid almost everybody there paid so yeah so that means that a lot of us were vip almost all of us paid for our tickets almost like 300 300 out of like 20,000 is nothing it was just ridiculous and finally when we got checked in we we had to register so beforehand like even before we got to TanaCon, we had to register for our meeting greets right we registered for our meeting greets that's the only time that you showed your id but there's some people that didn't have their ids so some people even showed their instagram i perfectly saw this girl she showed her instagram she was like i don't have my id but here's my instagram with a picture of me she showed her instagram her instagram her name and the lady's just looking up her up you didn't have to have your id at all and when you told her you didn't have your id you're like okay just show me anything with your name on it and that's exactly what she did and whoever registered would get these wristbands so i have a meet and greet wristband right now and you would get your wristband and then at the time that you were supposed to be heading to your meet and greet you were supposed to go but also they were very very clear I was told this by an employee, like someone that worked there, was like each meet and greet was about 500 people who registered, but they were only going to accept 150. So that means that the meet and greet that I registered for, 500 people registered as well. 
but they were only going to take the first 150. And it's just ridiculous to me. What do you mean the first 550? And they were also clear. They're like, if you didn't register for the person that you really wanted to, you didn't make it on time, there was another line called the standby line that you were going to stand there and just wait for all those 500 people to meet their like favorite YouTuber, the person that they register for their meet and greet, and maybe there was a chance in the standby line that you would meet them. It was not guaranteed. I'm going to say that. It was not guaranteed you were going to meet them at all. But I'm sure people were thinking, like, I'll just stand in the same standby line and just pray and hope. But not even the people that they registered for, not even the people that got the wristband were guaranteed either. And they were not clear on that at all. Okay, so moving on. Once I got in and I was, once I got registered, we still had to stand in line to go in. And it was scorching hot. They were giving no water. I feel like people were getting sick because it was just so hot. I did see a girl who was just like so dehydrated. And she was like begging for water, asking the employees and security, like, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. And then we're waiting there in line. And we start realizing, but we started realizing way earlier, like, I think she went over capacity. Because we're just standing around and seeing so many people. And we look at the venue, we look at the outside of the hotel, we're like, how are they fitting people in? Like, I don't understand how they're fitting this many people in there. And they're like, I think they went over capacity. And the girl, my friends, like, that I just had met, they were there, and then we're looking at Twitter, and they're like, people are saying that it's really tiny. Like, it's really small. Like, it's just a hallway and, like, rooms. That's it. And I was there, and I was like, oh my goodness, like, she went over capacity. Why would... They sell. Why would they sell so many tickets? And again, I want to emphasize, I was actually told by employees they sold around 20,000. They're respecting 30,000. It's just ridiculous. They sold 20,000 tickets. And I'm standing there and I'm like, oh my goodness, why would, why would they do that? And then finally we went in. Since I, I was one of the people to go early, I got to go in. And I did go in. And I went in there and it was just, it was so small. There was barely anything in there. It wasn't, it wasn't what I was expecting. I don't even know what I was expecting to be honest. But I know that this was just, I have, I have no words. And I'm not even going to try to explain. There was just not a lot of things. It was, and it was so overcrowded. It was so crowded. Finally, we go to like the main stage, the main room where the stage is. And we go there, and it's just so, so crowded. And I finally sit down on the floor. I sit down on the floor because I'm tired. And I sit there with my friends, and I'm tired. One of my friends went to her meet and greet, and she actually got to meet the YouTuber she wanted. And she left, so it's just two of my other friends. And we're sitting there, us three, and we're just looking at Twitter, and we're seeing people, they're just angry. They're like, this is ridiculous. Like, what is going on? By the way... I'm going back to when we were registered, so it's rewinding back when we got registered. Tana said it herself. She said it herself. She was so, so happy. Like, our ticket was going to be all worth our money. That our goodie bag that we were going to get was worth the money. She was so excited with this goodie bag. She couldn't wait. It was in store. It's amazing. Blah, 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 blah. Tana Khan. Yeah, Khan's a good word for it. First, she put it at a venue that can only hold a thousand people max. Then you tell your fans that the gift bag is going to be worth quadruple the ticket price. But your gift bag is only a smartphone grip, a wristband, and a condom. The only thing I need protection from is your lies. So, <laughs> let's play a what's in my bag. <laughs> okay, so this is Tanacon. Right, this is mm, some really flimsy material. Looks like laundry bag. Not really that mad at the bag. Not bad, okay. I didn't expect like high quality material, anyways. But I expected the content to actually be good. Okay, so this is my ticket, by the way. This is my ticket, the actual ticket that I got and paid for with my own money. So. Let's just throw that because that's not used. Let's see what's in my bag. So my money, which was $65 plus, just want to say it there, 
plus fees. So it was tax and a fee. So it turned out to be $77 plus my trapper just my transportation. But my transportation, I'm leaving it out of this. I'm still mad. I want my money back for my transportation. I want my money back for my ticket. Getting ahead of myself though. <laughs> Let's see what's in this amazing goodie bag. We have a Tanacon. This is a Tanacon and it is a smartphone grip. So basically I'm supposed to put this on my phone as a grip. This sucks. It doesn't even fit my whole fingers. It just doesn't. I have a small hand and I just yanked it off. I thought it was a bracelet. It's just, fam, what is this? Like, what? Like, not even a pop socket. I, mm, I'm, I'm never, I'm not gonna use this. Like, does someone want this? I'll gladly mail it to you. Stickers. Th th I, this isn't even a sticker. Yeah, it is a sticker from a brand I don't know. A sticker. Vegan stickers. And a condom. This is a famous Tana condom. So my money went towards stickers about being vegan. Whatever this sticker is, this grip thing, and a condom. I don't expect much. My expectations going there weren't high. I wasn't expecting VidCon, which by the way, I've never ever gone to VidCon, so I don't know how VidCon is like. But I wasn't expecting it to be big because I knew she wasn't run by a corporation. But I've been to events run by people and I have gotten better stuff, more stuff. No, that's not okay. You're here hyping it up saying like the stuff you're gonna give us is amazing and great. But then you look at the content and you see what they're giving us. Oh, by the way, I actually did forget one other thing. I for did forget one other thing. She also gave us featured FN creators. This. This is the last thing. And what's in my bag? I really, really hoped you enjoyed this what's in my bag. Because that's all that was in this bag. She kept claiming how great the stuff was going to be. She was excited for it. And then we get there and we're all just shocked. Like three stickers, a little plasticky featured effing creator, and a condom. Like a bunch of stickers and a condom. Like that's what our money is going towards. And I just, I'm moving on from the bag. The bag at this point is just irrelevant. It's whatever. I am there and it's just so overcrowded and I'm sitting there and I'm hungry and then I, I'm just, I'm, gonna, I'm actually trying to have fun. I'm trying to be positive. If you know me, I'm a pretty positive person. Like I'm so positive. I'm so optimistic. So even standing there in that line, I was holding hope and I was telling my friends. I was like, you know what? I'm still holding hope that it's still going to be good. It's still going to be fun. Even standing in line, even though everyone was being negative around me, I'm like still holding hope. I'm like, yes, it's going to be worth it. Whatever. We're like, we're going to get through this. And I was being positive in there too. While I was so crowded. I was being positive. I was like, you know what? Like I'm in here. I'm going to have fun. Like there's AC. Like it's good. Like I could, we could, I can still make something out of it the whole time. I'm just being positive. And finally like, oh, okay. So I, I get there around like 12 one, like it's closer to one. And I get there, and we kind of just walk around. I look for water, and I paid for water. I paid so overly priced water because I kept asking everybody, is there a water fountain? Is there water? Please, I need water. I'm so thirsty. And they're like, oh, we don't have any water fountains or any water. So you can go to the shop and go shop for one. And I was like, okay, whatever. What, they, they were, they were kind of rude, but I was like, whatever. I went to the shop. I paid for super overpriced water, but I was so thirsty. So I did it anyways. Um, I'm with my friends. Me and my friends um, were just, you know, walking around this tiny little hallway. Just trying to see each, like, little table that they had, whatever. And they kept telling us, move out of the hallway. Don't be in the hallway. Like, go in the room. Go in the room. And we're like, okay, whatever. And while I was there, I did see, like, this also kind of made my day somewhat okay and gave me more hope. I actually saw a YouTuber that I know and I love. 
Her name is Michelle. I'm going to insert her stuff here. Her name is Michelle. And I got to take a picture of her. I recognize her from the back. Like, she was just standing kind of by, like, the wall. And I think her one of her friends was probably trying to talk to a security or something. And I don't sure, I'm not sure what she was doing exactly. Um, I can't speak on that. And I kind of, like, touch her gently, like, right here on the shoulder. Like, really gently. not trying to scare her. And I was like... And I turn around, and like, I recognize her from the back, so, like, pretend this is her. And I'm like, oh my god, like, I love your videos. And she looks at me, and she was like, oh, thank you. And I was like, yes, I was like, you're amazing, like, your content is so great. And then she says, thank you. And then my friend next to me, she starts freaking out. She's like, oh my god, like, she starts freaking out because she recognized who she was. And then she was like, take, um, then it, the girl was like, can we take a picture with you? And she was like, yeah, of course. She was so sweet. We took a picture with her. My friend took a picture with her. And then I took a picture with her. And then after that, the guy was like, okay, like, you all, like, you have to go inside the room, blah, blah, blah. Like, you have to go inside the room. And we're just like, okay, like, what's going on? We were trying to figure out because there was schedule. Like, they had schedules up of what was going to be happening throughout the whole day. We were so confused because my friend really wanted to see the Gabby show. She really wanted to see the Gabby show. She was supposed to have like a Q&A. She was supposed to have like her own little segment in the main stage. She was trying to get like clarification of what was going on with the schedule because her meeting great was at the same time as the Gabby show. But when you looked on the website, it wasn't at the same time as the Gabby show was going to be on the main stage. Hope that makes sense. So my point to all this was that she asked them and she's like whatever is up on the website right now is accurate blah, blah blah like everything's out of order like we have no over control what's going on right now like they even told us they have no control it's disorganized like whatever is on the schedule is probably not going to be like correct blah 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 and we're like okay we start getting irritated finally we go in and our friend comes back from our, her meet and greet and she was like okay she was kind of like happy because she actually got to do her meet and greet and that was the only meet and greet that actually happened because I'm getting ahead of myself after she gets there we're like okay we're gonna go all the way to the front right because they did say that the Gabby show was going to be after um, Emma Emma Chamberlain and Tana they were gonna have a Q&A too so we go all the way front we start pushing and we start like going in like the front like all we're trying to get to the front and we get to the front and we're like okay Right, where I'm finally like, okay, you know what, like, still staying positive. I'm like, okay, this is good. And out of nowhere, security opens the doors. Like, I'm here, like, yeah, like, you know what, like, trying to have fun. And the doors are right here. Like, I'm next to the, near the doors. They open their doors, like, everybody, get out. Get out. I'm only, I want to say, I was only an hour inside Tanacon. Only an hour. I get there around, like, 12 something almost one so if I round it honestly if I round it it's one they're kicking everybody out by like two like everybody get out get out and since I'm by the door I'm the first one being like like told to get out and they're just telling me like they're not they're not touching me but they're kind of like get out like almost touching me and me and my friend are just like, what? What's going on? Like, what? This is ridiculous. Why are you kicking us out? And we're so mad. Like, we literally had just gone to the main stage and made our way up to the front. And they're just kicking all of us out. And they're just kicking everybody out and kicking everybody out. <laughs> Yeah, everybody got to They said that everyone has to make their way out that's in the pit. Oh wait, are we all like, getting out of the building? Are we all getting out of the building? Yeah. Like out of the whole hotel? No. What? What are we doing? This is bull. Bullshit. They're making us get out of the building right now. We gotta get out of the building and I'm really confused. And it was almost time for our meet and greet. Our meet and greet was at 2 and it was like 1 something. 
right so we, i want to say it was like 140 and we're like oh my goodness like it's almost time for a meet and greet and then me i grabbed my friend we're like okay we're like okay, we have to go talk to someone and then we go and we talk to this lady like she seemed to be like the head of like something i don't know she kind of seemed really professional because she wasn't a security she wasn't dressed like a security she had a walkie-talkie and she just seemed like she was helping run things so she had her walkie-talkie and i feel like the walkie-talkie made her official but yeah i know she was something because security would actually listen to her so i'm there and i tell her i was like you um i was telling her i was like we have a question our meeting greet is um is at two like it's almost time and they're kicking everybody out like but can we stay for our meeting greet she was like yeah of course okay here stand by the wall i'm leaving you two right here and they're like just stay here and then you'll be ready for your meet and greet and we're like okay cool like your meet and greet is still gonna happen we literally just yes we gotta we gotta get the line from outside in so you can come out and come out i haven't even seen who i wanted to see yet yeah. are my other two friends so it's like four of us in total um two of them get kicked out they're just out right they got kicked out they're just so angry like what the heck and then me and my other friend were by the wall and we're just sitting there and we're not actually we're actually i take that back um me and my friend we were by the wall so my other two friends they got kicked out and we're by the wall and we're just there and then a security comes up to us so rudely and was telling us get out like get out like he's just yelling he's just yelling at me and my friend and i was i sternly say sir do not yell at me we got permission i'm not sure my exact words so i'm paraphrasing we're like do not yell at me like i first sure told him do not yell at me like we got permission to be here by the wall they told us excuse me sir don't yell at us they just gave us permission to be here they told us to stand here do not yell at me because he was just yelling and he was being so rude and one of the things that I heard and Tana tweeted was like, security was so nice and so sweet. But the whole time here, I'm getting yelled at always by security. Security is just being so rude to me. From my perspective, they were being rude. From maybe the actual creators and the actual like YouTube stars or YouTubers, maybe they weren't being, security wasn't being rude to them. But they were being rude to us as the audience. And he's just yelling at us. And then finally the lady comes. She sees that we're being yelled at. She's like, I gave him permission to stand here. And he was like, okay. He backs off and he goes. He goes off, right? And then we get closer. Um, we, we start like, we see a group of other people that are by the wall. And we tell them like, are you here for the meeting green? Like, what's going on? Do you know what's going on? And they're like, we don't know. And out of nowhere, I see like, the lady who was with the walkie talkie told us to stand by the wall she's like you guys have to all lock arms like all lock arms and just like all lock arms and just make a wall and push everybody out i was like oh my god like what's going on because people are not listening like to get out and the reason let me explain to you the reason why they were telling us to get out they were telling us to get out because they wanted to kick everybody out that was in the venue and bring more people in so they wanted to recycle us so it was basically we're in here okay you guys get out go stand back in line so you can get in again and they were going to bring a whole other group of people and i i don't understand why they sold so many tickets i still don't understand why they sold so many tickets i was looking at capacity there's two things that I have of capacity. I took one, when I was in the main stage, I took a picture of the capacity and it said it was like 400 something, like 436 around there that fit in the main stage. 
and they were on in the bottom of it they were like and blah 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 haul only fits 100 and something so in total it only fit like 500 something people i'm like okay and then there's also um a screenshot that i have of someone that took that said that it only fit like 1000 people in total like every single room and everyone so even if because she tana claims that 15,000 people like came in without tickets like they came in with the tickets they were faking their tickets i don't believe that because i kept i kept being told they sold 20,000 tickets and i kept being told that and told that by the people who were in charge there like oh yeah she sold 20,000 tickets it was just like ridiculous and she says that 50, it just doesn't add up 15,000 people really came like i do believe she has a strong fan base but i just don't believe it because everyone everyone just like as an audience as us who were there it does not help because everyone had a badge everyone was there like i bought my ticket blah, blah blah i saw no one at all and i talked to so many people who said like oh yeah i'm just here like to try to meet tana like no one no one said anything like everyone around me had like a ticket everyone around me said they pay for it so it just something doesn't add up even if she only sold five thousand people Oh, like 5,000 people tickets and the rest actually came like giving her like giving like the people who ran the event the benefit of the doubt it still didn't fit it was still over capacity 1,000 people actually only fit in the venue so going back to my story the securities lock arms and then the lady tells us you guys need to get out and we're like what about our meeting greet and she's like every single meeting greet has been canceled you guys need to get out and my friend starts to cry because she is just upset because she really wanted to meet like the person that she came for. She really wanted to meet them. And she's just upset by the whole situation, how they're treating us, how they're just, they really were treating us like animals. Like they really were. And it's just really sad. And she's just, oh, my friend is just overwhelmed. And she runs out and I run after her and I'm trying to console her. And I'm not going to put really her business out there, but we go outside and I see so many people crying. So many little girls who were there. So many moms and everyone was just upset. And they're like, we don't know what's going on. I can't believe they did this. Like, why would they tell over capacity? Blah, blah, blah. And we're always being told. Everyone was being told. She sold. They never said 15,000 people came unexpected. That didn't merge until later on. Everyone was telling us everyone right there she sold too many tickets and the worst part is that she was still selling tickets like after like the day of tanacon they made a new they made a new category saying like one day entry or day entry 40 bucks she was still selling tickets even after over capacity she was still trying to sell tickets and it was just like dude like what the heck we're all being pushed out and people are angry i don't know where moms start and they're like refund refund like they're just, refund, refund, refund. Like they're just they want their refunds everyone's just mad everyone's crying you see so many people got like trampled on and like stepped on and like we're just all as like a group trying to like i i was hugging people i didn't even know and i'm just telling like it's okay like it's okay like everything's gonna be okay we're just just trying to be nice to each other because of this crappy crappy situation and we stand there for hours and it's just it's overwhelming of what's going on and it's just people were creating a lot of chaos and they were creating riots and they were screaming like because it was just so much was going on like they're kicking us out and they're treating us like crap and I go inside the lobby and I see two securities there and I'm like is there anyone I could talk to I want a refund I wanted a refund I had had enough I wanted a refund there's two securities there and they're just chilling and they're like we don't know they're like, I was like, so you guys like not gonna do anything about these riots or like or the girls in the lobby and they're like it's just like there's something we can do that no one's listening to us. Like the security straight up told us that they're like you're just kinda like giving up. Like, hmm. And they're just like there's nothing we can do. They're like, we're like they're just not listening to us. And my friends leave. They're frustrated, they're angry, they're like, we're going. And they're like, it was so nice to meet you. They left. And they were like, it was just, it was amazing that I met these girls. They were so nice, so sweet. We went through a lot. So they got picked up and they left. And we said our goodbyes. And I'm so sad I had to leave them. But I stayed there. They had some other place to go. But I stayed there because 
I had literally blocked my whole day to be at Tenacon. I had nowhere else to go. My car was like two cities away because I took an Uber and I had, I was kind of stuck there. So I was like, I'm gonna stay here. And I stayed there because I'm like, I'm gonna talk to someone because I'm gonna get my money back. This is ridiculous. I paid for this. I paid for a trip. I paid for an Uber. Like I'm so angry and so mad. But that didn't make me a rude person. Just because I was angry, it didn't mean I was gonna talk to securities rude. It didn't mean that I was gonna talk to anybody rude. I was nice the whole time I was there. Cause that's just my personality. I'm a sweet person. I'm really, really nice. Do you know anything about refunds? Are we gonna get refunds? I want a refund, blah, blah, blah. And I'm talking to everybody, everybody, until I finally got to talk to the CEO and I'm just there like, can I get a refund? Like, I want a refund. And no one knew. They're like, we don't know, I'm sorry. We don't know who you can talk to. I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry. They're like, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Like, we don't know what you could do. And I'm like, I want a refund. Like, I really, truly want a refund. Like, I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna come back the next day. I just want my money back. I want the money that I wasted to be there, to meet the people that I wanted to. I wanted to meet Loe Lane. Loe Lane was gonna be there that Friday and I was going to get a chance to meet her, supposedly. I wanted to meet Shane the next day on Saturday. Like, I just, I was there to see creators and I did get to see one creator, Michelle, and I'm so happy I got to see at least one creator. People were going crazy in the lobby, like, they were just going crazy, like, refund, we want our money back. Like, everyone was not leaving. The people, girls were there for like an hour and plus more there. And no, they couldn't kick anybody out until the police got there. The police finally got there. They got, they kicked out everybody. They're like, you guys need to leave. Like at first, the show was not canceled. I want to make that clear. The show or the Tenacom was not canceled. Supposedly they were kicking us all out and all of us who were kicked out were we were in the front of the hotel. And they were supposedly letting more people in so people could actually like get in the people who were outside waiting in the scorching hot sun so there are people that never actually ever got to go in I actually did get to go in and that's what supposedly they were doing they were telling us like go in the back of the line you'll get your chance to go in again and we're like what the, like what the heck like no we're not like there's too many people so the police came and they shut everything down they were like, we're shutting everything down. The whole thing is canceled. You guys got to get off the property, blah, blah, blah. And then finally I hear people screaming and saying like, 10 is outside in the back parking lot. And then everyone runs over there. And I I go to the back and I just see everybody go crazy. I go to the back and I peek and 10 is over there. I was like, you know what, like, I'm leaving. I don't want to be here anymore. And I'm just, I, the whole time, I'm just trying to get someone to talk to me. And I keep following the crowds and hoping that, I'll find someone, like I'll find someone, a security, some the girl with the walkie-talkie who told us to go on the wall, someone, like Tana's manager, I don't know, someone who could just refund my money. But after like, I go to the back and I see like, it's just Tana and her friends, like they're meeting people, I was like, I'm just gonna go. Like I don't wanna be here anymore and I take an Uber and I just, I go to Disney downtown and I just leave. Do I think that 15,000 people came in unticketed, unwanted, like they did not pay for anything? No, I do not believe that. I don't know where they got that number because they kept telling me from, again, the way I was told things, they sold 20,000 tickets. That's what I kept being told. And I don't know where to say 15,000 people came. Like, no, like that, I did not see. I do think maybe there were some like few hundred that did try. Not 15,000 people. That's ridiculous. You only sold five. 5,000 tickets really but even if you get give you the benefit of the doubt and that seems to be true I don't believe it, but let's say it is true The venue only hold at max a thousand people at max And you still sold 5,000 tickets. It was still Like there's still so many amount of people no matter what is the truth or what isn't the truth My truth is what I lived through this what my truth is what I lived yesterday but it just didn't turn out the way that it was supposed to turn out that that is honestly all I want to say I'm mad I want my money back I want the all the money that I wasted to get to Tanacom and the money that was taken away from me when I bought my ticket. I want a refund of Tanacon. And many people want refunds. I've seen people from everywhere, from I've seen people from everywhere say, I came from Alaska, I came from here, blah, blah, blah. And they want their money back. They, they spent so much money to be there and it was just ruined for them.
I'm sorry if you came from really far away and you wasted your money on this basically. I'm so, so sorry. That's all I want to say for today. I will see you guys next time.